Welcome to the Intel International Science and Engineering Fair. As the premier high school science competition in the world, the ISCF provides a forum for students to compete and display their research. My project is a solar water purification system. Basically, I have a combined evaporator and condenser system which separates the chemicals and bacteria from the water as it transfers from liquid to gas. That was the hypothesis of Catherine Zimmerman, one of 1,500 high school students from over 70 countries chosen as a finalist. Projects can focus on just about anything, so students have an opportunity to get creative with their ideas. This could be used in airports and public hospitals or any other public setting, and then you wouldn't be touching any devices spreading germs and diseases. I tasted the effects of air pollutants on plants. I chose sulfur dioxide because a lot of power generating plants and paper factories did a large amounts of this gas. But the challenge is that the students must come up with an idea that is not only interesting, but can also have a potential impact on society. We review the documents and how as a scientist, you've gone through a very methodical way of trying to present everything that you have. To be sure, there are a lot of impressive projects here at the Intel Science Fair. But more than that, it's a chance for students to interact with peers from all over the world, share ideas, and make plans for the future. It's the most amazing opportunity ever. It was a 16-hour flight, but it's, it's so worth it to just be here. I want to study definitely, definitely science. I'm not too sure what yet. Maybe environmental. I want to look into environmental, maybe res um, renewable energy. I'm planning on attending college. Uh, probably one of the Utah colleges, but I'm open for just about anywhere right now. I'm c planning to continue my project and continue my research and potentially make a completely automated system which can be deployed to third world countries to purify existing contaminated water sources. And as for college or after high school, I'm planning on getting an engineering degree. I'm not really sure what field yet, but it'll definitely be an engineering. And so as a judge, we begin to really ask questions that will enable us to really find out how much work is really on your own and how much effort independently has gone into it. So we ask questions where it really enables us to be able to drill down further. For instance, uh, one of the questions will be, tell me how you came up with this idea. Based on the answer that the students give or the uh, project person presents, it gives us the opportunity to really discern from that which area we want to probe more on and how much detail do we want to go to be able to find out how much of the own independent work went into it. Another example will be, we can ask uh, the uh, presenters, for instance, tell me about this particular application or this particular algorithm that you've designed to do this project. What kind of language did you code that in? And also, where did you learn the code? And how did it come about for you? Through those type of series of questions, they we're able to really discern how much of effort was in their own and how much work they actually put into it. Along with your documents, we review the documents and how, as a scientist, you've gone through a very methodical way of trying to present everything that you have and how detailed documentation you put around that. Then, of course, we're able to then use some of those indicators and their presentation. But most importantly, as judges, we try to make sure that we are encouraging them because once again, all of these youth came from all over the world. Tremendous amount of competition to make it to this national, international stage level. So all of them to us are winners before they even got here in so many different ways. So we also try to you know, encourage them as we're talking to them, what we see positive about their project and how we can encourage them to keep going and what kind of support structure they have that's going to allow them to keep moving forward. And no matter what part of the globe they're from, one thing is for certain. The future for all of these students looks very bright. For No 99, I'm Pierce Bly.